Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Andre, and in front of me, we have some beautiful lean beef. And you guys all know I love making beef jerky, and today we are making ground beef beef jerky. It's something I've been tinkering with, and I'm just going to do a video for you. It's fun, it's easy, it's a great way to use up uh, beef, and you don't have to let it cure like you would regular beef jerky, which is the beauty of it. Let's just dive in. So we're just gonna put the grinder together. I'm gonna grind it through the coarse plate first. And the beauty of beef jerky done this way, really anybody can do it. Uh, I had to figure out a few things and I'll explain, but it's not hard to do and it's fun. And I didn't think I had enough, so I bought some lean ground beef just to, to make a bigger batch. So I'm gonna mix that in too. There we go. So now all I'm gonna do is weigh this, weigh this out weigh the spices and then combine it and I will grind it again but after all the spices have been mixed in. 2.4. So we've got 2.45 kilo to start with. I'm just going to figure out the spice uh, weights. I am using the same recipe that I do for my normal regular beef jerky. That's a great flavor. People love it. So I figured let's just carry on with that and uh, come out with a great product. Like always, you know me, do the salt separately. And we are using curing salt, salt with sodium nitrite. Just add that extra little bit of security. And I will list all the ingredients below. And because this is a ground product, I am uh, going to grind everything really, really fine in the spice blender here. Just that way everything gets mixed really, really well. There we go. Beautiful. Let's add the salt first. Going to mix the salt in first, like I always do. Just a good thing, good habit to get into. And you want to do this with really, really lean meat because uh, fat can go rancid on you, and you really don't want that flavor in the beef jerky. And I'm gonna just dump it straight from here into here. Just gonna give this a quick mix, but we are gonna grind it again because I really want everything mixed really great. Because the problem, if you're adding spices to beef or let's say any meat like this and not any adding any liquid, it might not disperse good enough. And you do want a certain amount of binding in this because uh, to activate that protein, because you do want it to stay together. You don't want it to crumble, because right now it's fairly crumbly. Okay, here we go. Oh, it smells fantastic. Looks fantastic. It's a. Uh, it's about where I want. I don't want it like a sausage. I don't need it that uh, together. But that's pretty good actually. That's all I did was grind it through the coarse plate twice. And now the fun part. I'm gonna set up the stuffer and we're gonna use the stuffer to stuff it out and form it. 
That old faithful, like this is the horn I've modified. If you see here. So with this, we're gonna attach it on and stuff out a thin stream of this beef jerky and then get it in the smoker. So I will put a picture of what people normally would use for this, but I figured I already have a stuffer. There's no point in me buying. Basically, it looks like a big caulking gun that people fill with a type of nozzle like this, which gives you the, the thin extruded meat. But you know what? I'm handy. Let's figure it out and do it on my own. Oh, look at that. Look, look, look. I was thinking about just trying to stuff it onto here, but the problem with that is how am I going to get it onto the smoke racks? So I've got some parchment paper here. And if my plan works, because we have to be able to transfer this to the smoke racks. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay. Okay, roll that out, roll that out. Okay, not bad. It's not gonna look perfect. You know, that's gonna work great. So I'm gonna just keep doing this because this way we can take this on the parchment paper and transfer it to the, the racks without messing it up too much. Okay, there we go. We got all this stuff done. Looks fantastic. I'm, I'm so excited. This is awesome. And uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna just leave it here for a bit. I'm gonna go get the smoker started and then we're gonna load it up. Got the smoker almost where I want it. So uh, we're gonna load the racks now. So it should just be this simple. Oh yeah, look at that. We don't want them touching, we want airflow all around them. And of course it's windy today again. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at this. Gonna have to do it. Put these two on the other rack. Okay, here we go, we're gonna load it up. Put those there. I'm gonna run this at 150, between 140 and 150 like I normally do for beef jerky, just a nice small fire, just that smoke, taking that moisture away and uh, giving it that nice flavor. I'm not sure about how long it's gonna take, we're gonna play that by ear and uh, just want to say at this point, if you did not have a smoker, you could take that and put it in your dehydrator and make beef jerky out of it that way. I've got my smoker, so I'm, gonna, I'm doing it this way and just add that extra flavor. Okay, we're at two hours. I haven't peaked and uh, let's take the first look. Look at, oh, look at that. That looks so beautiful. No, still has a ways to go. That looks fantastic. Yes. We are done. This stuff looks beautiful. Uh, it just, it took just over four hours. So very on par with uh, the normal beef jerky. Let's just dive in. I'm, oh yeah. So I'm just gonna 
take the top one. Looks fantastic. Just cut a bunch of pieces. Nice and dry. Mmm, that's good. Wow. That's really good. I'm gonna say my traditional beef jerky with whole muscle is gonna be my favorite, but this is really good. I just like the fact that I can do it the same day. Because uh, my beef jerky, if you go watch the video, I, I cut it, salt it, and I let it cure for two to three days. Just that it, the salt and the spices do a, its thing. But this being a ground product, that spice and salt gets all the way through right away. It's fantastic. There is a little bit of, of fat that rendered out, but not much because I used a very, very lean beef. Awesome. I have some people I'm gonna go get some samples to because I think they're gonna like it. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you like this one. This is one that you can do yourself. If, even if you don't have a smoker, use a dehydrator, but I haven't used a dehydrator enough to be able to tell you how long it would take. Uh, I would have to play with that myself. I honestly don't know. If you do, let me know in the comments. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching and happy eating.